So the other day, me and a friend were talking about this and that. I was just trying to get some help on a future project. And he had mentioned he was about to 3D print a model rocket. So I thought to myself, I'll be like, hey, I can kind of 3D model. I can kind of 3D print. I should try to make my own rocket. So now we have to just figure out how we're gonna build our rocket. But then I thought, a model rocket, all it is is a cylinder with like a nose cone. Now it's time to design our rocket. And I think it's only fitting that we design our model rocket off the SpaceX Falcon 9 because why not? After messing around in Tinkercad for a good while, I came up with this design trying to copy the Falcon 9. The whole rocket itself is almost 13 inches tall and I did the body at 1.5 inches wide. Uh, right here I have for the, the guide rod, I made a spot for the motor to fit in right at the bottom. And I designed this in three pieces where the top piece just has like a tight form fit in there. So it should be able to just blow off easily. So the first launch didn't go ideal. We're here to figure out what went wrong with this first rocket. Our center of gravity is about right here, which I measured to be 9.3 inches from the top. There's another crucial part of building rockets that I found out. It's called the center of pressure. And the center of pressure needs to be below the center of gravity. So what we're gonna do is calculate that center of pressure. And I found a video online that gives you a rough estimate of where your center of pressure is. And the link to that video will be in the description below. And how you do this is you basically normalize your rocket and you look at it from a 2D perspective. So we're gonna make this simple. We're gonna have the top section be just a triangle, the body modeled as a rectangle, and then the fins modeled as two triangles. And the idea here is you wanna measure the sum of all the moments as an area over the sum of the total area, and that should give you where your center of pressure is. So, let's do a little math. From the drawing, you can see all my numbers and calculations from here, that I have the areas and their centroid points relative to the very top of the rocket. So if we do that sum of moments over the sum of areas, we come out to 8.23. <laughs> no wonder our rocket didn't fly stable. Our center of pressure was above the center of gravity. On to the next version. So I'm not just whirling the rocket around like a mad lad. 
There is a method to see if your rocket is stable. If you tie a string around the center of gravity and swing it around your head and the rocket flies in that direction, your rocket should be stable. Even though the parachute didn't deploy on either of the two launches, Ricky 2 here was a much better performing rocket. As you can see, even in that first launch, it started out with a very unstable and it fixed itself and started to fly straight, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, this was a really fun and quick project to do. I plan on hopefully doing another video with a uh, upgraded rocket and uh, you know, better design. So what I ended up doing with the prints, I ended up doing one wall with about 15% infill, and these made the sections really light and really strong. Until next time, get out there, learn, build, and have fun. Oh yeah, also check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash dio2. It'll be in the description below. I've started to stream some of the building and design phases of my projects. Oh yeah, also subscribe.